Caden Proctor officially comes back to Alabama. Nick Pringle surprises all of us and jumps into the transfer portal. We're going to talk about the portal, which opened up on Tuesday. It was a quiet day for football, besides getting back that former five-star and one of Alabama's starters from last year. But we're going to get into that and more right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and let's get this party started with a big, hearty roll tide. What do you say, everybody? There he is, big, sexy Elmo, Mr. Brett Elmore, as I come to you from the uh, basement of Lance Taylor in Lance Taylor's basement right now. Is that your story? It is. No, I'm serious. Look at that great artwork behind me there. I thought you was at Roll Tide Willie's basement. <laughs> you, uh, and old Roll, you and old Roll Tide, you guys are going to have to have a debate. A debate, yeah. No, no, uh, uh, <laughs> see where you uh <laughs> visited LT today and hope he's doing well and hope you're doing well as well. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's well, everyone's well. well, uh, but yeah, the pretty, pretty, pretty swank pad here, uh, yeah. you know, to, uh, to talk to you from tonight, uh, or really t today, you know, as we, uh, get into Alabama. All right, well, let's, let's get into this right now. Transfer portal opens and yesterday was a little bit slow, but I, I it's not, I, I didn't expect Alabama to be signing players because I I feel like they're going to do it the right way. And the right way is the portal opens. Then you talk to the guys, right? You're not doing the work ahead of time. I know that it's the wild West, but I just don't think the staff is, you know, is going to do anything that's out of the ordinary. Now, one guy did come back, but he was also on the team. And in my opinion was tampered with, and then he decided to come home. Yeah, I mean that was that was a gimme there on uh, the transfer portal, but uh, yeah, uh, not a whole lot of action as far as the Alabama front is concerned. And and you're right, you really don't uh, you don't expect them to sign players immediately, obviously, um, or or get them to transfer in, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you would, I, I feel like as we navigate these new waters, pretty much uh, everything's still kind of new. Um, you're going to hear of the folks leaving first and then signing or, or where they're going to arrive later. Um, and that means pretty good news from Tuscaloosa's. We didn't have anyone transfer out except for a kicker. Yeah. And who cares? Right. <laughs> unless, well, I, unless he's like, um, you know, the guy we had. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, so uh, nothing like that happened yesterday uh and uh, but today's a new day you never know what's gonna happen yeah yeah we'll be we'll be keeping an eye on all that one thing that I, that did surprise was late last night nick pringle hit the transfer portal so he joined sam walter chris parker rylan griffin and devin cosby and guys that are transferring off of the final four team pringle you know had trouble i mean it's, it's honest you know, he was constantly in the doghouse, it felt like. Um, yeah. But then when the postseason came, he really shined. I mean, he's a good basketball player and he's a good kid, too. And I'm not saying he's a bad person, but, you know, he was there was a few times where he was he wasn't around because of suspensions. So he's going to he's going to hit the bricks as well. And I, I hate to see him go. Yeah, me, too. Um, seems like we're losing everybody. It seems like. uh I don't know. We have uh, 11 scholarship uh, players and two spots we could fill uh, uh, this off season. And you never know what's going to happen with, with all this as the portal uh, is open for football and basketball. It seems like we're getting more basketball news than we are football news, but, right. uh, um, but yeah, he's going to hit the portal. Um, it surprises me a little bit. I, I thought uh, a lot of these guys would hang around and try to, make a push at it uh, next season, but apparently that's not the case. Six and a half points, um, five rebounds a game, and 18 minutes per contest for Pringle. So, you know, there's some production there, and he yeah. was a good player that would come off the bench. 
sometimes he would start. He's a, he's a good one um, when he's locked in and doing his thing. But this is the world that we live in now with college basketball, right? I mean, you know, I'm hearing that it's going to be Ryland Griffin going to Kansas. Who knows what bundle of cash he was offered to go there. That's a big basketball school. And then, you know, they you, instead of going out and recruiting players from high school, you just go on other people's rosters and, and pay them. And honestly, I'm hoping that Alabama does that too, because that's the world that we live in right now. Um, I think we're going to see it with football and with basketball. Nate Oates always seems to be able to come back from losing guys. Like last year was a, <laughs> like an entirely yeah. different team than this year. And then he just puts all these guys together and magically they're good. I don't know how he does it. I don't either, but I, I like the magic and I hope it continues because we're going to need it. I mean, uh, and we'll get some guys out of the portal. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not extremely worried about it. But uh, you know, he's a good coach. He recruits well, and he he should be able to play the portal well. Yeah, talking about playing the portal, wouldn't this be something? Aiden Holloway, a point guard from Auburn, to visit Alabama. I mean, <laughs> I, we saw it in football. You know, where Alabama lost a guy in the secondary. Can't remember his name, but he went down to Auburn, right? Now Auburn's point guard is thinking about coming to Alabama. I mean, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, how wild is that? Um, six one point guard from Auburn. You know, he played he played his high school ball out in California for a prolific prep. But uh, you know, coming out of high school, uh, he was considered to be one of the best shooters uh, in all of the country. You know. Uh, so this guy's uh, this guy's very talented. Uh, he's dangerous uh, with a catch and uh, off the catch or the dribble. I mean, he can he can launch it from Trey Land. It didn't translate very well for him though uh, this past season at Auburn. But that uh, doesn't mean it wouldn't in Nate Oates' system. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, look, so, he still had he still averaged seven points plus yeah, seven point yeah. three, and he was. 31 almost 32 percent 31.8 percent from uh from the floor and then 30 percent from three so maybe in you're right i mean just to kind of agree with you maybe in nato system this guy's even better yeah i mean uh let's face it bruce pearl's good coach but but not mm -hmm. but, but that but you know it depends on what system you're in and uh it just may not fit that player you know and uh, he may be a better fit at Alabama. I hope he is if he decides to come, and I hope he lodges it from three all the time. Bottom. Yeah, right, bottom. And, I mean, that's kind of what Nate's, Nate Oates' formula has been. I mean, yeah. just being able to figure out, uh, you know, exactly who can run up and down the floor and shoot threes, get to the basket, and play defense. So, I guess it comes down to this. I mean, is Mark Sears coming back? Is Grant Nelson coming back? You mentioned Aaron Estrada's going to try to get to the NBA, right? So, I mean, that's <laughs> – transferring out, you're losing five guys. Uh, Houston uh, Mallet and Chris Youngblood are transferring in, a guard from Pepperdine, a guard from South Florida. Freshman, you got some McDonald's All-Americans here. Darion Reed. Uh, Aiden, Cheryl, and Naz Cunningham, right? So, and, and Reed, the number 12 overall player. Uh, Cheryl, the number 27 overall player in the center. And then Cunningham, uh, and not Richie Cunningham, by the way. No, no. Uh, or Opie Cunningham. Remember no, when no, uh, no. Eddie Murphy was calling him <laughs> Opie Cunningham on SNL? Uh, uh, number 51 overall. I, I heard you playing the other day on your show. You were playing, and I loved Eddie Murphy on SNL. But I, it, was it was it was before my time. But I, we used to have the cassette tape back in the day. You were playing uh, "Hot in the Hot Tub" when uh, uh -huh. he in was uh. <laughs> he was he was Rick James. I mean, he was uh, 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 James Brown. James Brown, yeah. yeah but anyway, so so you got some guys coming in. And there's going to be spots. But this is crazy. I mean, this is cra the team got to the final four and five guys are like, we're out of here. We're just going to cash in on the money. 
I hate this. I mean, I, I'm just being honest. I hate where we're at. I mean, I hate where we're at uh, as far as the portal, uh, the money, the NIL. I, I think it's just destroying everything. Um, I hate where we're at. I hate yeah. where the game's at. But, you know, I'm 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 still going to be an Alabama fan. I'm still going to root for the team. And, and uh, you know, the coaches, I, I guess they can't help it the way that yeah, everything's set up now. Yeah. Look, I'm getting to the point where – I'm starting to feel like the, that the Supreme Court made a mistake with the NIL because yeah, if this yeah. is what the, if this is what it's created, then what yeah. they did was wrong. They're, they've killed the amateurism in amateur athletics, you this know, is, and that's this, a shame. This is not what it was intended to be. No, I, I, and we talked about this on a show um, a few months ago. It was intended for a player to be in a Milo's commercial or something. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, I mean, you know, seriously. Yeah. Uh, make a little jingle jangle, whatever. Do you like Milo's? The sweet tea? Enough said. This, this portion of the program, by the way, is brought to you by not, not my NIL deal. <laughs> uh, my NIL deal. Uh, you there. want to take a sip of that? Just take a sip. You can do it. I saw that. You're right, though, Brett. You're right on the money, man. You're right on the money. And I, 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 I thought that the guys needed to be compensated. That I felt I like they too. were being taken advantage of. But now they're ruining it. They're just, they're killing the the entire integrity of the game. And that's that's the thing that's disappointing. When you walk in and you 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 talk to a guy like Nick Saban and say, "Yeah, I'll come play for eight hundred thousand dollars." What? Yeah. You know what? Mm -mm, I know. You you you're, you're telling me that? Yeah, you telling me? You telling me? You telling me? You know, if I was this Oh. Seven, oh. Know, no wonder he told him to hit the road. <laughs> you, see rings? Rings? you see yeah, these rings? You see these rings? Don't kick rocks, buddy. You haven't yeah. done anything yet. Man, uh, not, you haven't done anything. I'm so with you, dude. I'm so with you. Well, Brett, uh, let me just remind everyone that we will keep an eye on this stuff um, and try to update you if something big happens. And that um, we're brought to you by Pearl River Resort over in Philadelphia, Mississippi, hour and a half from Tuscaloosa, two hours from Birmingham. They've got Dancing Rabbit Golf Course, which is the Augusta that you can play. They've also got uh, table games and slots. They've got the water park there. Uh, they've got a great concert lineup that includes Boys to Men, Big and Rich, Gretchen Wilson, Brian McKnight. You can find all of that on their website. And they've got the Time Out Sports Lounge, which is a Vegas-style sports book where you can bet legally on games. So check that all out, and we appreciate them for bringing you the, the channel and the show every day. And we're looking forward to being out there this summer because I'm going, I'm going to be there for Boys to Men. So I'm just telling you that right now. Motown Philly, that you can count me in on that. Now, there's something else I want to <laughs> there's something else that I want to tell you guys about. <laughs> it's the it's this guy right here. The uh the 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 big sexy Elmo show every every morning on WJLX. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so and you have to join me. Six until ten central time. And uh of course streaming on all the major apps and uh Online, WJLX1015.com. If you're in the neighborhood, you can tune us in on 101.5 FM or in north, north central Alabama, 102.5 HD3. And then this guy right here, Catfish. We haven't he, we haven't seen Cat in a while. He's been really busy, but it doesn't mean... Has he been hooked? <laughs> somebody caught him, and they they filleted him, and they fried him, and he's, they ate him with hot sauce. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yummy! Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> He's over at Ezel's. <laughs> Delicious catfish. <laughs> but listen, the the, uh, the real catfish has been amazing. He's helped over 10,000 families get into homes. He's an investment consultant, Airbnb expert, and he'll help you out. That's his cell number. You can call him there. Tell him you haven't seen him on the shows in a while. Text him. Say, where in the hell have you been, catfish? Uh, or use the uh, QR code there. And you can check them out as well. But uh, all of us appreciate you guys for hanging out. And uh, roll tight, everybody. We'll keep you updated on everything going on.